Hi guys, it's Aveda. Welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to wear a dark lip for the longest time and never had like an occasion to, but I finally decided to wear one and I absolutely love this color and I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how I put a look together for a dark lip. I know sometimes it's not easy, you can't really do much with eyeshadow when you want to wear something super dark and bold on your lips. So all I have going on is like a little bit of smokiness in my eyes, not anything big. And then I'm wearing a really rich plum eggplant color on my lips. This is from MJL Cosmetics, which I found on Instagram. They're kind of like a small startup company. I don't know if she does it from her house or I don't know what it is, but it's basically vegan, it's cruelty free. It's a great startup company and their lipsticks are, oh my gosh, they are absolutely stunning. So in one of my other videos, I think the crease cut one, I'm wearing Tamed and this one is called Dark Side. These liquid lipsticks, number one, they are so matte, like, oh my god. This is what I want in a matte lipstick. But these lipsticks are like $10, not even. I know I got mine on sale, but this is the quality of like a high-end lipstick product, MAC or Anastasia Beverly Hills. You are getting that quality for $10 or less, and it is so long-lasting. It is kind of annoying how long lasting it is it's not that easy to take off but it lasts all night all day whatever you want it to do it's going to do for you so definitely check out mjl cosmetics this is not sponsored it's not a review or anything like that in fact i don't even think she knows i'm doing this i just really wanted to put it out there because i'm absolutely in love with their products so i will leave a link to mjl cosmetics on instagram and a link to the website in the description box below as always please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to see how i got this look please just keep watching all right starting off with my facial oil this is a must in my makeup routine it always keeps my face super moisturized and just makes my makeup look good on top of that so next I'm going in with a primer. This is the Benefits Professional Primer and I'm applying this to the centers of my face and just really massaging it in. I'm going to be putting on the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. It's in the shade Honey for comparison and I'm just patting this onto my face with my fingers and then using a buffing brush to blend it into my skin. After that I'm going to start off with my eyes. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Eye Eraser as my eyeshadow primer just because it is so nice as a base and it makes your eyeshadows look really nice and it doesn't crease. And then I'm going to be using my Tartlet 2 in Bloom Palette because this is just my absolutely favorite eyeshadow palette and I'm using the shade Rebel to um, define my crease. So I'm just taking this into my crease and then bringing it back and forth until I get the pigmentation that I like. And I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just blend it out to make sure that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm going to go in with the darkest shade in the palette. This is called Smoke Show, I want to say, and I'm using this just to line the outer V. I wanted to add a little bit of smokiness to this look, nothing too dramatic, so I'm just making a slight V and then blending it out. And then I'll just add on to this doing the same two steps of making a V and then blending it out until I get the smokiness that I want. So I'm just showing you that I'm going over it and blending it out. Same thing for the next eye. I'm first going to draw a single V with that dark shade, blend it out, and then I'll just keep doing that until, you know, it's the way I want it to be. And you need to make sure to blend properly so that there are no harsh edges and it looks like it's seamless. Then I'm going in with Flower Child, which is my favorite base shadow. It's just so gorgeous on my skin tone. And I'm using this to just cover the top of my eyelids. And then I wanted to add some kind of like sparkle, I guess, to it. So I went in with that silver shade and I just patted this on top of the Flower, sh flower Shade Initial Color. And it didn't show up too great. I probably should have tried it wet, but in any case, it worked for this look. That's basically it for eyeshadow. I'm just gonna blend everything out and then get started on my winged eyeliner. For my winged eyeliner, I am using the NYX Matte Black Liner and I'm just drawing a wing on both sides of my eyes and then connecting it. And you'll see that this one came out a little bit chunky and the wing tip wasn't really defined. And if that ever happens to you, all you have to do is just keep extending that back line until it makes like a pointy wing. 
And then I was an idiot and I lost all my concealer footage and how I applied my contour, but I'm basically using the Saucer Cosmetics um, powder to or creamed powder foundation and I applied this to the regular spots so cheekbones, temples, cupid's bow, bridge of my nose and jawline and then I am just blending it out with a dual fiber stippling brush. For my cupid's bow I just used my fingers and then for my nose I actually found a paintbrush lying around the house which fit perfectly for blending out my nose so love that. And then I am setting the contour with a bronzer. I'm using the Sephora Matte Bronzer and I'm using a NARS Eda brush, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And this is just to chisel out the cheekbones. And you can see that when I'm using this brush, I'm using an up and down motion and side to side motion. And it just makes the contour look really, really defined. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever palette and I'm using the coral color. There's a pink color and a coral color and using the coral color to just kind of lightly um, add some rosiness to my face. And then I'm using the same palette's highlighter shade to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. And then also I bring it down my nose and a little bit on my forehead as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line. I'm just using the same crease color that I had used, so that's Rebel, and I'm just bringing this underneath my eyes. I'm also going to go in with um, the same highlighter shade from that Makeup Forever palette, highlight my inner corners, and then use black eyeliner, any eyeliner pencil you want to tight line my eyes so it looks a little bit more defined. And then I threw on some mascara, and also off camera I did my eyebrows and put on some fake lashes. But after that, I think I'm going to get started on the lips, which is the star of today's video. So again, like I said, this is MJL Cosmetics. Please go check them out. They're absolutely beautiful. And um, this color is just so, so deep and rich. And it's a matte liquid lipstick, so it applies very shiny. And <laughs> it looked like I had a mustache. I thought that was funny. Anyway, it applies as a liquid, and then it dries very, very matte. It's so beautiful. And I don't use a lip liner with this. I just very, very carefully take my time to um, apply it onto my lips. And then you'll also see what I do is I kind of like pout my lips and push them outside and it looks really ugly, but I apply the lip lipstick to like the inside of my mouth, or not really all the way inside, but the inside of my lips. And then I keep my mouth like that to let it dry. And this is just to make sure that when I smile or like make any kind of face, the pink doesn't show from inside my lips because I hate when that happens. So I just let it dry like that. And right here, my ring flew off. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it like hit the wall and I was like, what? Anyway, I let that dry and that is basically it. I hope you guys liked it. JL Cosmet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm blurry. This is the quality. 